Hey guys, Epowered RC here back again for another NX Quick Tip. On this one, yeah, you see, I've got one of my airplanes here. Got it all hooked up, bound into my radio. And I was going to go over about the function bar some more. Uh, not only the function bar itself, but actually how you can set up for telemetry type stuff. So uh, if I click on my function bar. Um, actually, no, I don't have that in there. So what we're going to do is we'll use the roller. We'll press it, and then we're going to scroll down to the function bar uh, screen right here. Click on it. I want to set up some ticker tape stuff. So these will, again, like in my other video, will read across the front bottom line. So if we go in here, as you see, everything's empty right now. Uh, it doesn't matter which one we click on, but we'll click on one. We'll go over to the sensor. We'll click on speed control because I have a small 45 amp Avion speed control on here. So let's see. We'll set this here. And it's already set up for volts because I actually already had it preset. But you can scroll through here and pick whatever you like. But I want to do voltage. And I would like to see down here at the bottom, it already shows you EXC. 11.5 voltage. Uh, this is a uncharged battery. I just grabbed a battery to do this video with. I'm not going to fly it, so it doesn't matter. So uh, let's say I want to display that for 10 seconds on the screen. Oh, actually, I put 15. There's 10. Okay, so we'll go back, and now when we we'll go back to the main menu, you'll see that's popped up on the screen. And it should disappear after 10 seconds. We're at 11.5. Well, maybe it will actually stay if you have just one setup. But you can set up multiple, so... Um, let's go back to it again, function bar, ticker tape, and let's go here, and let's also enable the EXC again, um, and see, we got temperature set up here, so let's set it for, say, five seconds, so now let's go back to the main screen, and you ought to see one, and then you ought to see the other ones, there, there is the temperature, it's telling me it's 72 degrees, and then there's the AC voltage, Okay, so that works. And again, you can set up, um, we can't set up as many as you want because there is a limit, but you can set up quite a few. So uh, let's say I wanted to look at um, my altitude. I think this one does altitude. Um, we'll do that one for like five seconds. I think this one does altitude. I have so many different uh, controllers, I forget which one I have. Um, there we go. Altitude, 1.3 foot. And then it's going to switch to my voltage. And then after 10 seconds, I'd have to go back to... I'm trying to watch the timer on the radio. There we go. Temperature. So, instead of having... And there's altitude. Well, that's 0.6. Um, it's on a table, so... Um, instead of having to scroll over to find, see, there's your uh, altitude there, and you can actually go here and you can clear it out. Um, it's going to tell me that it's uh, um, um, low battery, not to fly. But here's you see, here's your min and maxes. You got current, um, voltage, everything has min and max. You can still scroll over and find these. Uh, I've got a smart battery on it, so it's going to give me the percentage of the battery. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick way of how to how to actually set that up and what all you can do with it. They're very very neat features. Um, so yeah, just go in here and pick what you want. It even shows you on the screen here once you have it set up what uh, what you're at so yeah um fuel level doesn't actually work without um having another kind of meter hooked up 
but you can do other things. Uh, I don't have GPS on this one. I do. I think I do have GeForce set up on here, so you can actually even set up your GeForce, and I will show you. But I'm not flying it right now, so I don't think that's actually going to pop up. Um, as you can see, this everything's switching. So, guys, I hope you found this very helpful. Um, yeah, see, it's blank, so. The GeForce ain't going to work because I'm not flying it, but if I was flying it, it would show up. I'm using an AR6610T on this airplane, so yes. If you have any more questions about this feature or any other feature of the new NX radio, please do not hesitate to leave me a comment down below, and I will respond as soon as I can. If I need to make a video about something, I will do so. So thank you for watching this video, and until next time, happy flying.